All right, this is going to be the video on the best OBS settings, I guess you could say, in my personal opinion. Um, again, it's going to vary from opinion to... It's really up to you. You can obviously go full custom. These are just some of the basic things that I like to do. Um, first of all, if you game capture, if you put on a game capture, it's not picking up the game capture. Just right-click OBS Studio, Properties, Compatibility, put it Run as Administrator. That will pick, that, that will pick up the game capture. That's just one thing. That people say like they'll put on a game capture, it won't pick up the game, I want to pick up the game. You just have to put OBS Studio in administrator mode. Um, whenever you're streaming or recording or anything, disable the preview. That will save a lot of resources. Um, but yeah, let's hop into the settings. So under general, I don't really touch I don't touch anything here. Um under stream, obviously just connect to your Twitch account or whatever you're using. Output for streaming. I like to use the NVENC new encoder, the NVIDIA one. Um, you can use X264 if you have a streaming, a secondary PC, but if you're playing like Valorant, which I mainly play, or very CPU intensive games, you want to use your GPU to stream. It just makes sense. Use your GPU to stream on a CPU intensive game. If you're playing on a GPU intensive game, it's a toss up. You can try both. X264 will always, will always give the better quality, but NVENC, like the new NVANC, I just call it NVENC, whatever. <laughs> you can, I think this is a great encoder and you can use it. Um, yeah, but I choose this. CBR, 6,000 bit rate. If you're, if you're not partnered, 6,000 is the highest you can go. If you're partnered, you can request or 8,000 is the highest you can go. I think you have to request it. It's just not set by default, but yeah, 8,000 is the highest you can go if you're partnered. Um, this depends on upload speed. If you have like more than 10 upload, go for 6,000. If you have less than that, you just have to work your way through. Even on 10 uploads, sometimes it really depends on how many users are on the internet. If they're using your uploads, like if they're using upload speed, that can make you drop frames. So just be careful with this on your bitrate. Um, recording, again, I use the same thing. NVIDIA, NVNC, H.264. And I use the CQP for rate control. And I use it at a level of 14 with a preset of max quality. This makes recording the recording amazing. Like the quality is amazing on CQP 14. Max quality. Unreal. And it's this. I highly recommend using this over setting like a 50,000 bit rate or something. Just CQP 14. You're set to go. Uh, replay buffer. If you don't use shadow play, you can use the replay buffer here. It's really up to you. Set this to about half your RAM, I'd say, and then this is your maximum time. Um, for audio, just make sure your desktop audio is set to your whatever you use for your input and your outputs. Make sure you have them set. Uh, for video, I put 1920 for base canvas and 1920 for output. By cubic, you can also use Lanskos here and 60 FPS. I don't know if I'm saying half the shit right, but whatever. You know what I mean. Uh, Hotkeys, um, really, this is, again, this is up to you for hotkeys. If you're using the replay buffer, there'll be a save replay here if I enable it. Under hotkeys, I don't know, I'll probably have to apply first and then not appearing. But yeah, there'll be a save replay if you want to use the replay buffer there. Um, under advanced, this is pretty important. Change the process priority to below normal and make sure you disable this right here enable browser hardware enable browser source hardware acceleration make sure you uncheck this box very important to do hit apply okay now the last thing here that i'd say to do is move your desktop audio to about negative seven i'd say is pretty good and for filters put on a noise suppression under the good quality more cpu usage one it doesn't really use much more cpu usage than this like no point in messing with the with this. Just set this and leave it. Noise gate, I like negative 32 and negative 42 for the close and open threshold. With these two settings applied here, it doesn't pick up any background noise at all. It is perfect. I've applied this to so many different PCs and everyone says it's great. So highly recommend this to add them just down here. And that's that's simply it. Like it's pretty straightforward, very simple to do, and then just disable preview, minimize. Ta-da, you're done. That's it. Uh, if you have any questions or comments or anything like that, just leave it in the description. Thanks for watching.